Hey guys, I am back. Um, it's been a little while. Uh, if you saw my community post, my dad is suing my mom. So as a protest, since I think the reason is stupid, I haven't been going over to his house, which is where my production machine is, like the, the beefy machine I use to make these videos. So I'm trying to see if I can use my a potato laptop to make these videos now that I'm uh, running i3 instead of KDE. So, uh, let's see how this video goes. Today, I kind of just wanted to tell you about a program I made called Cermic because a lot of people have been asking me, what is this ASCII uh, art in my terminal? And... You know, there's many programs that do this kind of thing, but I made my own custom one that can actually read PNG files and put them out in your terminal. And it supports alpha and stuff. Well, it only supports 100% opaque or 100% um, alpha. So, um, yeah, there are some limitations. But honestly, I don't know how to get around them. Um... Now, just side note, you may have also noticed that it doesn't look like I have PyCom on. Yeah, I had to turn it off because for some reason the cheapo Intel graphics on here just bugs out with PyCom uh, in my recording. Like, it looks fine to me, but in my recording the windows are all over the place. So, I had to turn, on Py uh, turn off PyCom. But, okay, so... Let me just open up my browser. And I'm a bit of a clutter funk right now, saving a ton of tabs. Um, the way of the ricer, I guess. I can close the Grovbox tab. I, I moved from Cat Pachine to Grovbox, because Grovbox has more colors. But okay. Um, Cermic. Uh, this is Cermic. It's, it doesn't really have much description on it, but that is why I'm making this tutorial. Um, cause you know what? I was like, hey, I don't want to write documentation for this. I want to create a tutorial in my underwear. That's why I don't have a face cam on, by the way. <laughs> but, um, so the way you install Cermic is you have to first make sure Rust is installed, and the way you would normally do that is you go to rust-lang.org, and I'll have all these links in the description so you don't go to, like, wrong websites and stuff. Um, and what you would do here at rustlang.org is you click on Get Started. And you would, um, if you are on Mac OS or Linux, you would copy this command into your terminal. On Windows, it's this whole convoluted thing with EXEs and stuff. I tried it. You have to, like, install Visual Studio and stuff. It's... I tried it in a virtual machine. I don't use Windows. But, yeah, you would paste this in. And it would download the installer. And then... It'll say 1 to proceed with installation, but I already have Rust installed, so I'm going to press 3 for cancel. You would press 1. Um, now, once you have Rust installed, what you want to do is go down to here. Make sure Git is installed as well. And then you can copy this command if you want to. This just like takes care of it all in one command and puts it into your local bin directory. So, um, I could copy this, but you know what, um, I'm gonna do what all YouTubers do, I'm gonna maximize watch time, so, I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way. So, I'm gonna git clone the repository, so, https codeberg.org, and I will be nice, <laughs> well, again, you can, you can just copy that command, but I also just kind of want to show you the process that's going behind the scenes instead of just giving you a command to copy. Um, 
so you clone the repo and then you go into the repo and this is just a standard Rust project. So what you do now is once you've um, CD'd into the newly cloned repo, you do cargo build dash dash release like this and you press enter and just give it a little bit to compile. Uh, Rust is one of my favorite coding languages, but yeah, it can take a little while to compile sometimes. Just let it compile. All right, I'm back. It has compiled. Uh, that took a little while, not gonna lie. Took a little longer than I expected, but okay, so now that it's compiled, um, you want to do a, well, depending on where your target directory for the binary is, you want to do sudo or no, no sudo. So like if you have permission to write in, for example, slash a home slash your username slash bin, for example, and you want to put it in there, you have permission to put it in there. So you just need to do MV target, uh, release. Uh, ceramic. Y you just need to move it into there, but I want to put it in my local bin. So what I would do is sudo mv target release uh, ceramic um, and I want to put that in slash user slash local slash bin um, and I'd move it there and I put in my password and okay now it's moved there of course I didn't have to do that since I already had it but whatever tutorial um, so now that that's done all I have to do now is CD back into my home directory. Well, CD dot dot. So back into wherever you cloned the directory. Now I'm just going to do a RM dash R ceramic. Or you know what? Um, RM dash RF ceramic. Yeah, there we go. Um, and that's all to install it, not to actually using it. <clears throat> uh, to use it, you want to have a set of uh, low resolution PNG files. So I, I do have a Linux program on my codeberg called Cermic Shop. The installation is the exact same, just instead of Cermic, Cermic dash shop. And of course I put a command there to paste it, but it's the exact same process basically. Um, so I don't actually have Cermic Shop installed on here cause I already have everything I need. But um, if you use Cermic Shop, uh, which you just run it and then it prompts you like what repo do you want to install? Um, it's very self-explanatory and it's honestly kind of a shitty program. So don't use it. Um, <clears throat> don't, don't take it serious, I guess. Um, so what am I looking here for? Ah, yeah. Dot Cermic underscore repo. Cermic shop will put everything in here by default. And as you can see, I have these, uh, uh, five low resolution images. Um, so if I open these, Oh, all right. Um, give me a sec. Oops. Um, let's see. Can I, yeah. Okay. Um, I want to open with G thumb and set as default from now on. Um, yeah. So let me zoom in. So yeah, it's just a standard, um, it's just a standard uh, seven by five PNG file, seven pixels by five pixels. Uh, remember that because um, each pixel 
in the terminal actually gets printed out as two characters long on the standard uh, standard amplification. I'll, I'll tell you what I mean by amplification later. But, uh, yeah, so you could put fancy, like, one time I put Minecraft items into there and it worked perfectly. And, like, I just had fun opening up a terminal and seeing, like, ooh, a golden shovel, or ooh, watermelon slice, or ooh, a diamond. Um, yeah, you can put whatever low-resolution PNG image you want in there. Uh, it just prints it out. Um, now to use it, you just open up a terminal and you type in Cermic, the scale, so one, so like the multiplier. So I want it to just be minimum one, one scale. Uh, now you type in the directory that contains all of your image files and it randomly selects one of them, which is uh, really nice. And um, uh, you can actually, the scale, actually you can, so I have it at one right now, but say I want it twice as big. I can set this to two and it will print an extra big one. Don't know why you'd want this, but you know, it's there. Um, <laughs> Cause yeah, why not? So yeah, that's, how do you Cermic? I hope you enjoyed this little quick guide to something I've been asked quite a bit. Um, so until the next time, see ya. And remember to like and subscribe and ring the bell and comment and follow me on Odyssey and share the video, and all that good stuff. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.